Committee has determined the U.S. Bureau of Prisons fails to hold employees accountable for a sexual abuse of female inmates. This comes days after an Oakland jury found former FCI Dublin warden Ray Garcia guilty of eight counts of sexual abuse and lying to the FBI. This morning, the bipartisan panel, Senate panel, released a 68-page report after an eight-month investigation. It reveals that the Bureau of Prisons employees sexually abused women inmates at a majority of the 27 federal prisons where women were held over the past decade. After today's hearing, we had a chance to speak with Senator John Ossoff about the abuse uncovered. The abuse at Dublin was some of the most notorious and horrific in the country. You had a warden and a chaplain, both of whom were sexually abusing inmates. But it was by no means unique or an isolated case. We found, for example, at FCC Coleman in Florida, multiple correctional officers abusing multiple women in their custody over long periods of time, none of whom faced criminal prosecution, and some of whom retired with benefits. This is a systemic issue. In addition to the former warden of FCI Dublin, three other correctional officers have been charged now with sex crimes. Three of them have pleaded guilty. The Senator, Senator Offa says General, Briz, uh, Bureau of Prison Reform must come from the new prisons director, Colette Analytics. Peters. Tonight